Hi, this is a demonstration of the tool described in the paper, Distance Supervision for Relation Extraction Using Ontology Class Hierarchy Based Features. The tool receives as an input one sentence in English with two annotated entities, and it returns the relation between the entities on that sentence. Annotations and relations are defined by the DBP ontology. Let's start with an example. Consider this sentence extracted from the English Wikipedia. Camel are an English progressive rock band formed in 1971. Let's annotate the two entities. The first one is the band Camel. To annotate an entity, surround the words that represent that entity by those two symbols and add the URI of the entity you want to annotate. So, tbpedia.org slash page slash camel underline band. As we consider that all the entities are defined by the DBP ontology, we can omit this part of the URI. The suffix of each URI is sufficient for our tool. So camel is now annotated. Let's now annotate English as uh, a reference for the entity England. Okay. Now let's see what's the relation between those two entities. The first step is the feature extraction. We will extract 12 features from that sentence. The, the first two features are based on, the, on the, the, the choice of a class that will represent each of the feature, each of the entities. The first one is a band, which is a class that will represent the entity camel band. The second class is country, that will represent the entity England. The remaining of the features are lexical features. Window left to one is the first word at the left of the first and the first entity, in this case empty. POS window left one is the part of the speech of window left one, which is empty two. Window left to two is the, are the two words at the left of the first entity. POS window left 2 is a part of the speech of window left 2, which is empty as well. Window right 1 is the first word at the right of the second entity, which in this case is progressive. POS window right 1 is a part of the speech of window right 1, which is an adjective. Window right 2 with the two words at the right of the second entity, in this case progressive rock, and POS window right 2 the part of the speech of the words in window rise to with the middle of the sequence of words between the entities in this case RN and POS window middle is the part of the speech of the words in window middle okay so based on this set of features our classifier will try to guess the relation between the entity camel and the England and the entity England. In this case is hometown. Now let's add two words at the left of camel band just to, to fill these four features and see what happens. So the group camel or an English progressive rock band formed in 1971. 1971. I didn't change the relation between the, the two entities. The two words, the group, does not change the relation at all. So we shouldn't expect any change in the relation returned by our classifier. So let's annotate England here. Press enter. See the feature is extracted. So First and second feature of as they are the same. Window left one now has group. Window left two is the group. They're part of the speech. Window right one, POS right one, window right two, POS window right two, window middle and POS window middle are the same as in the first example. And the relation is the same, hometown. We didn't change the relation expressed on this sentence. Now let's try an example with a, a different context. 
let's say editor war this is another sentence from Wikipedia by the way editor war is the common name for the rivalry between users of the VI and the max text editors let's annotate two entities here let's annotate Emacs Emacs and text editors is represented by those two words text editor so the URI in this case here is uh, dvpedia.org slash page slash text underline editor when more than one word represent an entity we have to substitute all the empty characters by the character underline now let's see the result okay so in this case the class software was chosen for Emacs and a WL thing was chosen for text editor okay window left one and is a preposition window left two is VI and end VI is a noun and is a preposition too we have no window right one neither window right two and neither window middle in this case so for all those features are empty and the relation that our classifier predicted was Jenner so Emacs is a Jenner of text editor our last, our last example is the sentence Hans Dolfer was born on 28 May 1940 in Am Amsterdam Netherlands let's annotate Hans Dolfer again we have to substitute empty characters we have to substitute spaces by the underline the suffix of the URI the page of Hans Dolfer is Hans Dolfer and now let's annotate Amsterdam the suffix of Amsterdam is Amsterdam too okay now let's see the relation between those two entities so Hans Dolfer is represented by musical artist in Amsterdam by city we have no window left one neither window left two we have window right one which is the comma comma is represented by the tag else from our part of a speech tagger and window writes to the comma plus Netherlands so we have an else and a noun okay window middle was born on 28 May 1940 in so verb verb prepositions a number a noun another number and a pre another preposition the relation given by our classifier was hometown which is clear clearly expressed in the sentence so Hans Dolfer was born in Amsterdam. Those were examples of results of our relation extractor. The features with more expressiveness are the ones based on ontology class hierarchy. They are the main contribution of this work, which is an example of how the application of semantic web resources in natural language processing tasks can prove accuracy and recall. For more information about their definition, please check the paper submitted to the ESWC 2014. Thank you for watching this video.